Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Marvelous Designer 9.5 has been announced and also released. So, Marvelous Designer is a tool from Clo Visual Fashion and they've gone ahead to announce the release of, you know, this amazing tool which has been used across the industry as the standard tool for creating clothes for both games and also animation. So, it does come with a couple of features and most of them are actually sort of novelty while some of them are things that a lot of people have actually requested over a period of time so one of the cool things that is interesting to see is marvelous designer remeshing tool has now left the beta form which it was in the previous version of marvelous designer 9 and it is now solidly uh, a tool that is now available for anyone to use so the remeshing tool now has to do with full on remeshing and also remeshing on selected patterns as well at the same time there is also a partial freeze which works mostly based on selection also getting a brand new set of avatars and these avatars are also worth exploring as they contain both male female and also kids characters and there's also the avatar tape the avatar tape definitely would help you attach you know tapes to both internal and external seams so in case you're trying to measure certain parts of your character or you're trying to get some certain measurements right before you proceed to creating the material and also sew them this is going to be very very helpful now some other brand new features includes the 2d windows display icons and also the grouping tool these things make a lot of sense and it's just pretty cool that we check them out so with marvelous designer open here you can notice that we have a brand new you know um avatar so this avatar is a brand new one that is now included in the new version of marvelous designer in the previous version of marvelous designer which was marvelous designer 9 there was also the sansa set of characters so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys so these characters were there so just in case you don't know and the only difference now is in the previous version of marvelous designer these characters were all mixed up with the previous you know character sets that existed before so if you wanted to see those sansa characters you could actually see that they were all mixed with the previous version you know of characters that was there before and in a new version of marvelous designer you would notice that we have a new set of folders that contains the kids the male and also the female characters now the kids folder contains three characters the male character contains three male characters which i kind of like and also you would notice that we have three female characters alongside for the female characters so with that said the ui has also gotten a couple of improvements and updates one of the cool improvements here is the grouping so right now they've actually grouped similar objects into the same part this is not the first time marvelous is taking the step as in marvelous designer 9 this was actually initiated but they've gone ahead to improve and also make this even way more better than it was before so a very quick example is this now in the previous version of marvelous designer you get to notice that we have the pin so the pin used to exist somewhere around here but now they've also gone ahead to merge the pin with the brush selection mesh tool that you have now this would make a lot of sense especially if you're about to select certain parts and once you select those parts you want to pin them and if you also want to select those parts and subdivide them this is also going to be very useful but this is not the only update that is happening to the ui within the ui as well there is also updates to some of these icons as you can notice that they now have some very interesting coloration contrary to what we had here previously that was all set to blue now i think the yellow is making it to pop a little bit more and on the 2d you know canvas you would also notice that we also have a new set of tools so the new set of tools that we have here we can easily use this to show you know sewing lines and you know some other features and at the same time you know how you could see your wireframe directly in your 3d canvas or in your 3d viewport you can now see your wireframe now within your 2d canvas this is definitely going to help a lot of people get things done and if you're into you know things like this you might actually find this one very rewarding so real quick let's talk about retopology so previously you could actually do retopology in the previous version of marvelous by going over to retopology create retopology you could click here and you know define your point and this point will define edges and the edges will define faces and you know you can simply go ahead and keep doing this and once you're done you can take this over to a dcc app and get some good stuff going but today we're also seeing that this is not the only improvement that is coming over to marvelous as right now we can see that they've gone ahead to change the remeshing tool from being in beta to become a finalized tool that you can use so Previously, this was something that was useful as you could simply go ahead and remesh your entire or, you know, a certain part of your model 
and get a very good result so for example after doing a simple remesh like that you could actually see that you have this and it's very interesting to see that in the new version of marvelous designer that right now you can also choose to you know group select an entire object right click and get your proper remeshing which is no longer in beta happening directly onto your mesh or you can simply go ahead and select a particular part or you know a particular selection and proceed to make that a remeshed object this is definitely going to come in extremely handy for so many people as most of the parts that you might want to work with you can simply just remesh that especially if those parts would be used for animation or if you just want to create some very good seam lines across that for uvs so with that done let's also talk about the improvements that has to do with you being able to now use an avatar tape directly onto your model so for you to use the avatar tape directly onto your model all you need to do is right now you would notice we have two new icons here in the previous version these icons were not available as you can't find them anywhere around so the two new icons here is for you to be able to edit and make changes to the avatar tape lines that you're going to create and also to actually proceed to creating them you would notice that we have them grouped in as we, once we click you can notice we have a circumference we have the linear and at the same time we also have you being able to attach this to your avatar so for you to actually get started once you click on this you can now go in and define certain parts now once you click and let go you would notice that you still have the line following you know following your mouse if you want to get rid of this all you need to do is just simply get to the point where you want and proceed by double clicking this is going to give you the exact measurement of the avatar's body which you can use to get informed decisions of what and what you need to cut and how you need to proceed with creating the garments that you want for your model other things that you can also do alongside this is with a model like this ready to go you can choose to go over to let's say a part like this that has to do with the neck or let's actually play with the head for example and if we click and hold down shift we're also going to be able to see some sort of guidelines so i'm just going to rotate it around so you guys can see that you can now see that we have some sort of guidelines and these guidelines could actually help you move smoothly across your entire avatar just to make sure that you have proper measurement as you know as you proceed with this of course this is going to be very helpful if you're trying to get an exact fit for your character and it's also interesting to see that the minute you jump into the avatar you know measurement mode your entire mesh automatically turns transparent and this is actually a very very good feature so with that said let's talk about how you can do the partial freezing so we've talked about so many other stuff that is now in marvelous designer you know 9.5 it remains talking about the partial freezing now the freezing feature that you have previously would allow you select a mesh right click and then go all the way and freeze so you can choose to freeze strengthen solidify all of that stuff right now we now have a brand new you know uh, menu that is now available once you right click and that has to do with the partial freeze and how you can actually initiate this is very simple so you know how we have our default mesh right here and we have you know our garment what we need to do is right now within this part if you click on the select brush you would now notice that we have a very tiny brush menu right here we can choose to paint across and once we're painting across for us to actually add more textures or you know add more masking to what we're painting we need to hold down on shift now failure to holding down on shift would make your paint to disappear or your masking to disappear so all we need to do is paint on this and once we're done hold down on shift rotate your model and with shift selected you can add some more and you can proceed to do this and select the entire part that you want if this is something that you want to clean up let's say you want to clean up some parts the parts which you selected and not the parts which you want you can also proceed by holding down control and then you can clean these parts out of course this is going to be very very helpful if you're into some sort of simulation and stuff this is going to come in very handy now the cool part about all of this is after you're done selecting the parts 
or masking the parts that you want once you proceed to right click you can now notice that we have the subdivide create pin and also the freeze now stored up in a separate right click you know menu that you can get so you can now choose to subdivide this part if this is what you want you can now choose to subdivide that part now if you're also thinking about creating pins with a part like that you can now proceed to create pins now if you're also thinking about trying to make a simple selection like this and with that you want to simply freeze you can also do that right here now once you're done freezing and doing the simulation that you require you can also choose to unfreeze this by selecting the model right clicking and you'll notice by simply clicking we're selecting that particular area that we have frozen all right you can now right click and choose to delete the frozen region you can also choose to delete all freeze or you can simply just select all the extra freeze you know that you have depending on how many parts that you got frozen you can simply use this feature to select all of that right now i'm going to proceed and click on delete freeze region and with that done you can also get rid of that you can also get rid of this by simply selecting a particular part of your model right clicking go over to the partial freeze and choose to delete whatever freeze that you want and this is also going to be extremely helpful and come in very handy for anyone who wants to do some sort of simulation and doesn't want all of the parts of the model or all of the parts of their garments to actually simulate at the same time and with that said it's also worth saying that you know you can choose to also paint directly within your 2d so you can choose to do that as well so if this is also something that you're looking forward to you can easily paint directly onto your 2d and once you paint like we talked about earlier you can right click and choose to make this a pin so these are some very interesting things that is now available in marvelous designer 9.5 i'm very very happy about the new avatar you know giving the whole new face to the set of avatars that now exist in marvelous the whole partial stuff the things that has to do with the avatar tape and also the remeshing making it a full tool that you can now use contrary to it being um you know a beta tool that kind of crashes once in a while makes a lot of sense i'm also in you know very very happy about the improvement that has to do with the gpu and so far so good marvelous designer has actually come a long way you know previously there was talks about marvelous designer not having a sculpting tool and they integrated that feature which i don't really see a whole lot of people use but then i also love the whole idea of the uv editor that now also exists in marvelous designer so in case you're working with marvelous designer or in case you're trying to get into marvelous designer you can go to our sister channel called zarif where you can simply learn a couple of things on how to get started with working with marvelous and at the same time if you want to see a video on how to plug in substance designer key shots and even blender into your marvelous designer pipeline then check the links in the description they will take you to several videos that will teach you how to retain your animation from marvelous designer and also take them to substance painter so that you can give some very good textures and also bring them over to key shot where you can do some very wonderful rendering and also if you're thinking about how you can plug marvelous designer into different tool sets maybe render them in mammo set then of course there's also a video in the description which would also guide you to that and that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.